Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making lilac soap today. I'm trying to get ready for the Tulip Festival, which comes up in April. It's February now, but I'm a little behind. Everybody in the house has been really sick, um, including me, and when I get sick, it hits me hard. Um, something that takes the kids three days to get over takes me three to four weeks. So I've been out of commission for a while. So now I am playing catch up. Normally by this time I would have my soaps mostly done and ready for April um, so that I could start working on my other products. And I am really, really behind. I did two batches yesterday, one for April, one is uh, soap that takes a year to cure. And then uh, I have a couple batches that I did in January before everybody got sick. But, uh, let me think here. Yeah, so lots to do. So this is lilac. Do lots of florals in the spring. And this one is a big seller. We have lots of lilacs around here, lilac gardens. Our area is known for lilacs. So, everybody wants a lilac. So. And I'm going to use this really big picture because I am out of dishes. And I poured, um, put the wrong mica color in my small pitcher. This is going to be the um, color of my entire uh, batch. I do it mostly dark purple with the light purple and white accents. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and add. I'm going to mix up and pour into my big bucket. So doing lots of florals right now. I did rose back in January, which is not my favorite fragrance. However, I found a rose that I really like. It doesn't have that fake perfumey scent. It, it smells like a real rose. Um, so that'll be good. And then lilac and a new gardenia. In fact, I'm going to be doing that one as soon as I'm done with this one. And I'm going to scrape this to death and try to get as much as I possibly can out. Yeah, the more you scrape out, the more you have to wash away or clean. But I also am of the mindset of waste not, want not. It's just it's just such a shame to me to just leave it in the jug and not be able to use it. Okay, so let's see if this is the color we want. We want it to be pretty dark. That, but you know what? I think I want a little bit of a blue in there. Hey, your guest is here. You want to open the door and tell them thank you? wonder what they think when the um, UPS mail thinks when they come and I'm in my my gear you know my goggles and my gloves and I'm going to think you're a scientist <laughs> I think they think I'm weird okay let's blend it up okay I 
when doing, doing the thermal soaping like I do, stuff tends to move even faster. And I think the last time I did this, I soaked at room temp. Um, and I can feel it thickening it up, but so far, if I move, should be okay. In worst case, if I have to plop it in, I'll plop it in. Not a, not a big deal. Okay, I'm not going to worry about doing that. All right. So it's getting a little thick, but it doesn't rice or anything like that, which is nice. Just get in the way. I'm going to go ahead and take them out. And this smells good. It smells like a true lilac. And you know, let me tell you, the people around here know what lilac smells like. And you know, they come up to my booth, do you have lilac? Well, I have to smell it because it better be real. Um, so I have to be very particular with my fragrance. many florals just you know don't give you any time there's a gardenia that I used um, last year that by the time I went to pour the second color in it was the first color was completely set up I mean it was like rocks if you watch my video my, my channel and if you don't please subscribe please like the video but if you do um, search for gardenia because I think I just ended up giggling the whole way through because that's all I could do. It just didn't go as planned at all. Let's try to stir that up because that's going to come out in a big blob. Mm, your nap time is over. Okay. Smack this down. I'm going to take my hanger through it really fast. And I don't know how I do my swirls. I just do them. And I think all three swirls are different every time. hear her in her room. Hello. Maybe she can come out. She likes for us to come get her. Unless it's in the middle of the night. We had to put alarms on her door because she likes to get up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and wander the house. She has figured out how to unlock my front door and I'm just paranoid that she's going to sneak out. I'm going to wake up and find her down the street or something. So you may have heard the little doorbell. That's what it is. Gives me peace of mind so that I can sleep, not having to worry about her wandering off. Hi. Mm. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Oh, good. I don't know what's the matter. Hmm? I don't know what's the matter. You don't know what's the matter? Something is wrong? Mm. Okay, and a Micah, Micah Drizzle. I'm hungry. Oh, we'll go party. I don't need to go to the bathroom. 
Okay, you need to stay back. Mom's soaping. Okay, you have to stay in your safe spot. Kitty. Kitty can't be out here. She has a stuffed kitty that goes with her everywhere. She can't sleep without this kitty. My um, mother-in-law got it for her for Christmas a few years ago, and we ended up having to get a backup because um, she just loves this thing. And we were like, if something ever happens to this cat, we're in trouble. But now this cat is used to be white, and it's so well loved. It is no longer white, and no longer has stuffing in it. So we're not going to be able to pass off a new cat if we tried. But the cat has recently developed its very own personality, which was absolutely adorable at first. And now we're like, yeah, if the cat's going to make that noise out here, it's got to go in the other room. <laughs> yeah, are you right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the cat's not as cute as a, and adorable as a three-year-old. <laughs> yeah, the cat's meowing. The cat's meowing? Yeah, the cat's can meow. They need to stop her. Well, just when they're annoying, they need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to swirl this. Go get a snack. Okay. One more batch to do. I was hoping to get it done. I think I'm gonna... I am. Yeah, you can turn the light on. We'll we'll see. <laughs> yeah. I try to get my soaping done when she is down for nap because she doesn't tolerate it as as well. I'll talk to you about it in a minute, dear. Okay, a little bit of glitter. And there's lilac. Don't go anywhere. I will attach the cutting on the back of this. Okay, here is lilac. The sides are super cool. This one is just striped. This one started to overheat last night. I came and checked on it and another soap that I had and made right after this one. And this one was getting really hot. The other soap actually volcanoed out of the mold. This one I was able to cool down and it calmed down. Ooh, okay, well, there's not a lot of color in this one, but one of the ends had a lot of color. Very happy with that. There's a lot of contrast between the purples. I like that. It's a pretty one. This is a little darker than I normally do, this soap, but I like it. Because I have a lavender soap right now, and I want to make sure that I try to make sure that my soaps don't look alike. I want them to stand out when I'm at a show and they're on a shelf. I want them to be unique. They're really pretty. Thank you. I like it. I need to make more soap today, but we've been busy rearranging furniture. I had to build a new bunk bed for my daughter. And I'm just tired. So, and I've been on my feet every day this week. And today is Saturday. I kind of need to take a day. So, I might just wait until tomorrow. I'll go ahead and cut another loaf. Pretty, pretty. So, I've been talking about um, piping the tops of my soaps. There are a lot of soap makers that do that, and um, I used to pipe, I used to make wedding cakes. I just, you know, soap is just a different beast, and I like my, my bars. And the people that make flowers and stuff out of soap, I mean, that's a lot of talent, and I admire their ability and patience to do that, and that's a big part of my 
problem is I like I like it to be quick. That's pretty. I like that a lot. I think that's my favorite one so far. Um, so I don't really have the patience. However, there are these new things called Russian piping tips. And they look super cool. I think I'm going to get them and try them out. side of that one's a little wonky from the paper if you can tell. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the last loaf. So if I do that, here's an end. I haven't shown any of the ends. I will um, do a video. And you can see my success or failure as I work them out. But while I, you know, have piped, I, it's just not my forte. It's not my thing. I, I'm never quite happy with my results. So that's a big reason why I don't do it. I keep my designs very simple. When I was making wedding cakes, my thing was the crisp, clean, smooth lines. That's what I liked. So for those of you that can pipe these beautiful roses and flowers, hats off to you. I think I'm going to cheat and try the Russian tips and see what happens. But anyway, this is lilac. I'm going to get my favorite bar out. Right here. This will be cured um, end of March 2017 and available at StargazerLuxuries.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.